Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about sequential lobbing. So sequential lobbing is nothing but it is one of the methods to identify the error signal. Okay, I will uh, just recollect what do you mean by error signal. I have already explained in the previous video. I will go through the uh, what do you mean by error signal first and then I will start the sequential lobbing concept. So before going into that, just what is the purpose of tracking radar in, in traffic monitoring? See here, number of cars are entering into a parking area and here the area which is in the vicinity of the radar system is located in the box. The box here indicating the box is nothing but this one from here to here. This box area is the vicinity of our radar system and we are counting the vehicles in that particular area. How many vehicles are being parked in that area? Okay, so our radar system, tracking radar system is continuously monitoring how many cars are entering and it immediately shows the count and graph related to that particular car. This is the way how we are using tracking radar in the traffic signals or traffic monitoring applications. Now, coming to the sequential lobing concept. So, sequential lobing. Sequential lobbing is a method used to generate used to generate an error signal. Used to generate an error signal. So, what do you mean by error signal? What is the purpose of generating an error signal? So, when you are using a tracking radar, tracking radar is nothing but which is used to identify the future position of the target the future position of the target that means at a particular time instant it identifies the difference between the switching axis and the target axis okay suppose i am transmitting a waveform in this direction okay this is my antenna i am transmitting a beam in this direction so the direction is in this direction like this this is nothing but your beam axis okay and assume a target which is located at this particular direction this is the target axis okay and this is the beam axis now the difference between these two is nothing but error this error is as it is in terms of angle we are calculating this error as an angular error okay this error is known as angular error Okay, so this angular error can be a either it can be either what is that elevation error or azimuthal error. It can be either elevation error or azimuthal error. That means it may be the error may be in the vertical direction or it may be in the horizontal direction. Depending upon the error signal, we are giving the output of this error signal to the feed to the input of this servo mechanism. Servo mechanism is the input which is connected behind the servo motors. Here, this servo motor is connected to the plate of this antenna. So, depending upon the error signal direction, either, either it is a positive or negative, that direction, the plate will be rotated by using the servo motor. So, how much angle that the direction that the antenna has to rotate that will be decided by the error signal nothing but angular error signal so such type of error signals can be generated by using two methods known as a sequential lobing and conical scan method this is what the uh, background of this error signal and sequential lobing now what are the two methods we are having sequential lobing sequential lobing and another one is conical scan method conical scan method okay so in this video i will explain what do you mean by sequential lobing and in the next video i will explain conical scan method so sequential lobing the name clearly tells that sequential that means one after another sequential means one after another in series okay so we have one antenna in our hand so that antenna is used to produce the beam at two different positions okay so what we are doing 
we have an antenna that antenna switches the beam at two different positions that means it produces one beam in one direction again rotates the plate and again releasing the beam into another direction see here this is the first beam this is the first beam and this is second beam okay so the first beam is produced and the target the beam axis is towards this position one and the second for this second beam this is the beam axis now assume a target which is just in between these two like a position one and position two the target is located at this particular direction okay now what we need to do in the sequential lobing is we need to rotate the plate of antenna in such a way that the error signal should be zero what is the error signal here error signal is calculated as the difference between the target axis and the switching axis target axis and the switching axis see here in sequential lobing in sequential lobing the beam is released into space yet two different positions okay like position 1 and position 2 as shown in this figure the error signal is the difference between target axis and switching axis what do you mean by switching axis what do you mean by switching axis it is exactly in between the position 1 and position 2 so switching axis is nothing but this one exactly at the center between the two positions this is switching axis okay so what is the difference between this target axis and the switching axis from here to here so this angular error is nothing but error signal this error signal is given to the servo mechanism so that that will rotate in according to the target direction so what happens now we are making the error signal to be zero so our aim is making the error signal to be zero our aim is to make the error signal to be zero what happens to the error signal if it is zero see if error signal is zero what happens this is the position one this is position two and exactly in this direction the target is coming okay target will not move but what we are doing we are changing the orientation of the plate of the antenna such that the target axis is inclined with the switching axis okay this is the switching axis switching axis switching axis is nothing but which is exactly at the center between the two positions of this uh, beam 1 and beam 2 so now what happens we are changing the orientation of the plate in such a way that the target axis is inclined with the direction of the switching axis now we are having a confirmation that the target is in our vicinity completely okay it is exactly centered between two beams we are transmitting suppose if the target is as the target is in motion what happens again here it is see as the target is in motion what happens again it will move to the new position that means here so again it produces one more beam here one more beam here there is this one again the error signal that error signal is going to be nullified so that the plate will be rotated again in the direction of the target so this process is continued until the tracking is going to be done okay so the error signal is keep on generating until and unless the target is in motion the error signal will never be zero but we are trying to make the error signal to be zero that means we are rotating the plate of antenna like that always 
okay so the error signal will never be zero understand this point the error signal will never be zero until the target is in motion because okay some uh, at what particular time we have made uh, the target axis is equal to switching axis again target is in motion means definitely it is a deviation from the switching axis again the feedback is collected and given to the servo motor the error signal is given to the servo motor servo motor adjusted the plate again the uh, antenna will move uh, what is the target will move again the error signal is generated this process is a continuous rotation until the tracking is going to be done okay the same is the working with uh, conical method also but in a different way okay now let us see the rectangular representation it is the polar representation rectangular representation of this uh, sequential logging see this is what i have explained in the previous uh, slide which is nothing but polar representation and this is the rectangular representation see from this rectangular representation you can understand uh, this is the position one and position two the beams which are transmitted in the space and this is the target axis and this is switching axis which is exactly at the center between these two okay so what we are doing the we need to make this part to be zero so that so that the target will the plate will be rotating in this direction the switching axis is inclined with the target axis okay error is again generated as the target is keep on moving again we are adjusting the plate again we are generating error again uh, adjusting the plate such that the tracking is continuously done okay so this is what the sequential lobing method used to generate the error signal here the uh, sequential lobing and conical scan methods are used to generate the error signal method is used to generate the error signal but again entire servo mechanism and elevation angle correction and uh, angle correction that side of uh, section is there to set this uh, target axis is equal to the switching axis okay so this is what the sequential lobing method to generate the error signal. Thank you.